Yo, I'm here at the world's best barbecue, Terry Black's in Austin, Texas. They're gonna give us a tour of the smokers. They're gonna show us how they make this delicious food. And then we're gonna go and eat. Who don't wanna do that? All right, man, you know I'm a big boy. We gotta eat. Let's do it. Welcome, yeah. man. How are y'all? I'm Alex, all right? Nice to meet y'all. All right, we are here with Alex, uh, the one black guy that works here. They kept him in the back. There we go, man. All right, welcome, y'all. He going to give us a pit tour and let us know uh, what goes on. All right, awesome. Well, hey, welcome to the pit house, y'all. Again, my name is Alex, and this is how we get it done, guys. Part of a big team of pit masters out here working 24 yeah. hours a day, Do they make all the black people work the night shift? Nah, man. We got all the ghosts working the night shift, y'all, right? Who keeps yeah. the fire going from, like, 12 a.m. to 8 a.m.? Yeah. Our big, scary pit masters, oh, man, wow. right? Yeah. Again, we got a whole crew out here, again, 24-7, gang. And during in the daytime, we like doing our brisket, guys, right? Mm -hmm. Again, this is gonna be babysitting after now, right? Because the brisket's gonna be 12 hours. Nothing but the indirect heat from these beautiful live fires right here, y'all. Again, this is alchemy we're cooking with out here, y'all. Art and science, guys, right? That means that breathing fire, that's it. We ain't grilling out here, we are smoking, y'all. And again, so what's the key to a good fire? Oh man, again, airflow. It's all about the chemistry of that airflow, y'all. Again, I could give you the whole textbook, and that's just gonna be about the fire and the way that fire breathes, y'all, right? So many different variables. What's the weather like? What pit am I cooking on? What's the quality of my wood this week? Lots of different balls in the air, but so we're like keeping track of the moisture of, of the wood would make a difference? Exactly. How dry it is? Exactly. That's so, why we like to get that nicely seasoned, two-year seasoning of that post-oak wood, y'all. Again, local so barbecue, wood. local wood. Oak, you heard that? Oak. Can you cook with pine? You, you can, right? You can technically cook with anything, right? But again, old school Texas style means that post oak. That's the flavor of this area, y'all. Nothing fancy. Again, simple but effective, right? We like that mildness of that post oak. Yeah, you can use it all day on any different variety of meats and super long cooks. And that's exactly what we're doing out here. Again, accentuating that flavor of that prime beef and not really overwhelming it. And that post oak does the job really, really well. For sure, y'all. So, so what's on the grill right now? During the daytime, we're cooking nothing but our briskets out here, man. That's our longest cook at about 12 hours. Wow. So we're going to, again, let those go all day. And like I said, 24-7, right? So we're going to pass that baton to the overnight crew, do pork ribs and turkey all night, man. And that's going to be every single day, every single night. We're stuffing these bad boys. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so again, what you see up here, guys, these are old 1,000 gallon. Those are old propane tanks right here, y'all. Yeah, after you guys, head on in, head on in. Check it out, guys. These old propane tanks, again, that beautiful cylinder right here, that quarter inch steel, that's helping facilitate that convection throughout that entire pit, y'all, right? Again, natural draw, no fans, no high technology, right? Again, these babies you're about to see right here, 8.30 in the morning, y'all, right? And again, this is gonna be transformation. Like I said, y'all, we're slowly rendering out that fat, giving that beautiful color, that moisture, that flavor. What you're about to see here, this ain't char. Again, we're not grilling out here, y'all. We're layering on that smoke, creating what I like to say, and the fairly expensive violin right here is what we're coaxing out of here, y'all. This is like staring at the cosmos, guys. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, man. Ready? Three, two, one. Check out those babies, y'all. Again, that color on there, that's impeccable, guys, right? That incredible golden brown fat. Again, that beautiful dark oaky brown, that burgundy and scarlet in there. And again, I think I'm gonna cry, man. Right? That's like looking at a sunset. And that goes for about 35 to 40 of these beauties we have right here. You can see that drip and that glisten of that fat coming off of there. That, that's how we do it in Texas. We're trying to render out all that fat. By the time we're about nine hours in, it's about six hours right here, we're gonna be able to press onto that fat cap. It's gonna jiggle for me like a sponge, y'all. Again, like jello under sandpaper. And that's gonna be that consistency you're looking for, like a fresh toasted marshmallow. It's gonna be crunchy, but pillowy at the same time, y'all. So let me ask, Please. is the seasoning just salt and pepper? Salt and pepper, a little bit of yellow mustard and apple cider vinegar. We use that as a binder, y'all, right? And again, that acidity of both of those is gonna help break down that fat before it even hits the heat, right? Again, nice. chemistry we're doing out here. It's a lot of variables. Nice. Yeah, pretty cool, man. Yeah, never fails to blow me away, y'all, right? Again, we are having so much fun out here. If you're not having fun, this is miserable, man, If I, if right? I work the night shift, I'd yeah. definitely be out here with some liquor. Uh, uh, man, you think it'll be, people think, oh yeah, you guys crack a beer, throw some wood on the fire, have a good time out here, right? And that's awesome at home, man, right? But again, we're babysitting out work. here, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Always something to do, right? If you're not paying attention for 20 minutes, it's gonna affect the food for sure, man, right? right? So you definitely gotta stay on point. We're it's chilling out hot. here, but not chilling that hard. It's hot, it it's feels hot. like a Rogan sauna in here. <laughs> you keep in mind, it's a cool spring afternoon, man. Right. Come back in August, 
Yeah, it's gonna get pretty brutal out here, man. Yeah, right? Right now. Oh yeah, perfect. Game, <laughs> man, right? Nice cool breeze yeah, running through. You got it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, man. Right. So again, you guys are definitely in for a Texas treat tonight, y'all. Again, old old school delicacy. Nothing fancy. Salt, pepper, smoke, and love is what we say out here, y'all. So we're gonna go inside, and now we get to see where all this magic turns into. You hungry, B? Let's go. All right, man. Let's go. Start. All of my people in LA who don't get good barbecue, they <laughs> put in your orders. I'll, I'll ship it to you. Frozen. Overnight. Just try to stick the kernel boy. Just eat the meat. Don't get the, even though the sides look good, man. Don't do the mac and cheese. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to watch my figure. You got two sides of that brisket. And I'm at 12 to 14 hours on that. You got the lean, thin sliced brisket, and you've got the moist, thick, fatty sliced brisket. Moist, baby. This cut right here is considered barbecue gold. It's like a meat marshmallow. That's our burn ends right there. They're the softest part of the brisket, arguably. Mm. And then you got your moist right here. They're about a quarter pound per slice, give or take. And then you got your lean. Like I said, the more popular, flavorful, uh, flavorful option is going to be your moist right there. Don't sleep on the lean though. Just as good, not as fatty. So this is going to complete the brisket part. Let's get all that going. And then let's get you some of these beef ribs. I tell everybody, brisket's the reason you come here. Our beef ribs are arguably our best item. You're about to find out why. Underneath here is three pound and a half bones of beef ribs. Flintstones. Right there. There it is. And then, like I said, arguably our best item right there, yes. the beef rib. Yes. Throw that on there as well. Oh. We got original, original or jalapeno? Original. I got you. No pork ribs or anything? There you go. These are 80% beef, 20% pork. They're about a third pound each. They're 100% delicious. There we go. Wow. Made with love. Everything made with love at Terry Black's Barbecue. What else for you? Some chopped beef. I got you on that. Our chop right there. We take our lean brisket, we chop it up real fine, marinate it with our signature sweet and tangy sauce. Let's get some pork on there. This is a Texas spread. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> a little bit of everything right there. Look at that drip. I gotta go to sleep for my show. <laughs> a little post barbecue nap. There we go. Oh my goodness. A little barbecue magic for you guys today. What kind of knife is that? It moves so It's a serrated bread knife. That's all it is. Just so it doesn't shred the meat, but it slices right through it. If we were to use like a traditional knife, it would shred at the very end of it. A couple of delicious pork ribs right there. Thank you. I think that's it. We can, I don't even think we can finish this. <laughs> Best beef rib I've ever had. I can't finish this. This is all carnivore friendly. Like, bar like barbecue heaven. Very juicy. Very, very wet and juicy. I don't, I can grill, I cannot smoke. I'm not a good smoker at all, but I can grill pretty decently. That rib tastes like, I know they smoked it, but it tastes like they put it in the oven. Like that's how tender and wet it is. And the sausage. Diet Coke. Donald Trump said, I've never seen a skinny person drink Diet Coke. Some chopped beef. I'm getting full already. I just want to say, I feel bad for all you vegans. All I got to say is, come try 
Texas barbecue. And you'll see like, you ain't never had barbecue before. I've never had any barbecue any better. Suggest some places, and when I'm out on the road, I'll go. But, as of now, this is the world's greatest barbecue.